What's up YouTube? Jacob back here with Veteran Pro Wash with another video. I hope everyone is doing well and staying busy making money. In today's video I'll be giving our opinions and thoughts on when we believe is the right time to burn the fuel as well as your time to give an in-person estimate to a requesting customer and also when it is the right time to just pull up the address on Google Earth through Court.IQ or through the Google Earth app, whatever it is that you use and figure up a price for the services that are being requested and just send them over through text, call, email to inform the customer of the price without having to meet face to face. So we'll jump into that in just a second. Just a reminder, it costs about two seconds of your valuable time to hit that subscribe button. If you don't mind, we would really appreciate it. And let's get right into it. So before we get into the topic of the day, I want to say in our opinion, there is no right or wrong answer to this. This is when we think it's the right time to burn the fuel versus look at it on a map. If you handle this in a different way when it comes to landing jobs, please let me know in the comments. We love feedback as well as criticism and seeing what other people have to say, even if they disagree and want to be an asshole about it. So let me know. And if I can't give you a short response or answer your question in a short response, then I may respond with a video answer. That being said, first off, we do have a membership with Quote IQ. We've had it for a while now. And if you're watching this and you are currently a business owner in the service industry or looking to become one, whether it be self washing or lawn maintenance or whatever it may be, I highly recommend you check this app out if you haven't done so already. Our entire business is pretty much ran through Quote IQ as far as all of our scheduling, invoicing, giving estimates, receiving payments through card transactions, and pretty much anything else that you can think of that you would want to be in a single app to where you don't have to jump back and forth through scheduling or invoicing. You're definitely gonna to wanna to check this app out if you're a business owner in the industry. Google Earth or Maps, whatever you wanna call it, is available on Quote IQ, and it is a much more updated map than what is on Google Earth. Before we had Quote IQ, we would use the Google Earth app. That worked great for us whenever it actually had the house or building that we were looking for on it to be able to take the perimeter measurements of the property. A lot of times the house or building wasn't on there and we aren't going to just tell the individual requesting an estimate. It's not on Google Earth, so we can't provide you with an accurate estimate because we don't burn the fuel just to provide estimates if we aren't guaranteed to land the job. We've never done that before. If it wasn't on there, we just took a rod out there, measured it in person, and then gave the accurate estimate of the price that we would charge to do the service. Now, if it's an hour and a half drive from where you're located and they're requesting a residential driveway cleaning, for example, obviously we wouldn't spend the time and the money to make the drive because we have minimums that we charge in those type of circumstances for a certain mileage or distance and our minimum to drive an hour and a half i can almost guarantee you will be more than the cost of that driveway so in that case we would just recommend a more local company to the customer and if they say we're the company that they would like to come out and take care of it for them then we will ask for a few pictures of everything they're looking to get done and quoted accordingly at a price point that we are comfortable with and that we're still going to make a little money off of on the other hand if we receive a call from a commercial facility then about 99.9% .9 of the time we are going to take a look on Google Maps to get an idea of what kind of facility we're dealing with first of all and then we will take the time and burn the fuel to ride and put eyes on it in person we do this because we've won over so many commercial jobs just due to the simple fact that we we're willing to take a ride out to the facility or set up a meeting with the individual who called or messaged us and requested the estimate and this just shows them that we care we would be honored to do business with them also they're able to put faces to myself or Kale's name that they heard at the beginning of the initial phone call whenever we answered and we are also able to present ourselves as more professional we think in person but there are so many people and please let me know in the comments if you have run into a similar situation as an owner of a cleaning company but a lot of times you tell someone that it's not familiar with the industry that you own a soft washing pressure washing company the only two words that they hear out of that entire sentence are just pressure washing to most people the service of pressure washing is known as a side hustle or a summer gig for high school and college kids I thought the same thing before we did started this business all I heard was pressure washing whenever Kale mentioned it to me the first time I had zero idea about anything what a soft wash was I call it a soft wash because that's about as much knowledge as I had of it most people aren't thinking that you could turn a soft wash or a pressure washing business into a full-time gig that aren't trying to get into the industry because they're not aware all that we're capable of and the money that can be made in this industry so whenever a commercial facility calls it is best in our opinion to present yourself so they can see you as a professional business 
business that will take care of them instead of possibly being someone who will come out there, do a shitty job, know they did a shitty job, receive the payment from the customer, and then not answer whenever the customer calls them back about what they fucked up or missed on the property. So like I said, 99.9% .9 of the time, we'll take a ride out there. The other 0.1% being that the business looks like a small building or facility from the street view whenever we take a look at it before we make the ride out there. We come to find out that it's two hours from us and they're requesting an estimate on something like a 30 foot sidewalk or something. So that's the other 0.1% of the time that we'll just send them a bid over the phone without putting eyes on it because we've also ran into situations such as the example I just gave where we've taken our time to ride out there to go look at these jobs and we don't hear anything back for a couple of days. We follow up a few days later just for them to tell us that one of their workers or maintenance personnel at the facility brought his pressure washer from his house and took care of it. And now you're out of the money you just spent to drive all the way out there as well as the four hours of your time it took to drive there and back. As for the residential side, whenever it comes to us providing estimates, the only times we really even consider riding to take a look at the property is one, if the home is surrounded by trees and we can't get an accurate measurement, which even then we're still able to pull up a street view and get an idea of where the roof starts and stops and where certain corners are and different cuts in the house are even then we don't really consider it to be necessary to ride out there if we're able to get close enough to an accurate measurement to be able to send over a bid now if we absolutely can't see it and we absolutely don't know obviously we'll take a ride out there to give the customer an accurate estimate whenever they would like us to come look at it or whenever we can set up a day to come look at it most of the time it is on the spot because a lot of times we do have a little bit of downtime throughout the day for that reason to be able to go take a look at jobs that called throughout the day or get chemical whatever we need to handle at the end of the day for the next day the second reason is being that the customer is requesting a roof wash they're unsure if the full roof needs to be cleaned or treated a lot of times it may only be the north sides of the roof that are needing to be cleaned being that it doesn't get as much sunlight and they don't have any trees covering the opposite side of the house but even in a scenario like that we just ask the customer to provide a few pictures if they wouldn't mind of the sides that they're saying that don't need to be included in the estimate as well as a few pictures of the side that does need to be cleaned that they're requesting a bid on if we only provide a price to clean what they're requesting an estimate on if they're saying that they are 100 percent sure that the other side of the roof does not need to be cleaned then we will provide them a price on what's dirty and if we end up picking up the job and the other side that they said doesn't need to be hit ends up being a little darker than the side that we just cleaned we're only cleaning what we gave the estimate on and if they want to go ahead and hit the other side of the house we will gladly provide them with another estimate for the rest of the roof but we will only clean what we measured and provided an estimate on and we take pictures and videos for proof that we did the job and we also have proof in quote iq and through messages of exactly what was requested by the customer so if they say they won't pay until the rest is done or say they aren't paying any more than the original price when you tell them or they're refusing to pay because you didn't hit all of the roof that was dirty and there's still dirty stuff on something that you did not even send an estimate on then that's fine we'll see you in court and they'll pay a lot more at the end of the day for all of the court fees whatever the Way they want to handle it we haven't ran into this issue a lot of people that we deal with are really understanding you know if we if we tell them yes that will clean up even if it's not really that dirty but it will end up being darker than the spots that we clean and if it's just like one or two streaks and the roof's not going to change if we hit it with chemical where it gets a lot of sunlight we're not going to charge you for a whole half of the roof if it's got one little black streak in it we'll just go ahead and hit that on our way out or something or while we're rinsing the pump so not really that big of a deal charge it if you want to we don't do it just to show that we're willing to help out the customer again we're not going to charge a full side of a roof or one little black streak if we're already out there cleaning the opposite side of the roof if it's a good bit of black streaks that are on the opposite side of the roof see if they want to get an estimate on that side as well if they say no we do the half that they requested initially if they say yeah go ahead and hit it we just made an upsell whenever it comes to residential a lot of them aren't even worried about meeting with the company that they're on the phone with they may be at work when you do the job and you text them or they just send you your money and you don't really hear anything back from them unless you fuck something up or miss something or they're going to call you back next year to come hit it again if you do a good job but they aren't looking for the easiest or fastest and cheapest company but at the same time they don't want a whole lot of contact with the people coming to do the job they just want somebody that's going to get in there give them a bid real quick on the spot get in there get it done a couple hours whatever it may be to do the roof or house or driveway whatever service you're providing for them and get out of their hair make it look good and be done that's why we don't even really push to meet with these kind of people because if they're getting multiple bids a lot of times they're not going to want 10 self-wash companies showing up at their house throughout two days to give them a price and do a walk around and they got to explain every single thing that they want done 10 different times we just send that over the phone we quote the whole 
whole roof unless they say otherwise if they say half of it's clean then we'll quote half of it after we receive some pictures and stuff like that if we're in the area we'll just stop in real quick but other than that we don't ride out there pictures are a lot faster and easier to send than the work truck will move to get to their house so you can go about it however you feel is necessary let me know what y'all think we need to change in our strategy i'll let you know yay or nay as to if we will implement your ways if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments if I can provide you with a short answer, I will do so. If it's a long answer, I want to start making videos on some of y'all's questions. We're getting some good questions out there. I know we're a new channel. We're not getting a whole lot of feedback yet. We had one that got a whole lot of mixed feelings and mixed emotions, which was the $50,000 in four days. If you haven't checked that video out, go check it out. It'll be linked in the description and comments below. Please feel free to comment any questions or concerns you may have or ways that we're fucking up and need to do better. If you're one of those perfect guys, are perfect females that can't ever be wrong will think about implementing your way probably continue to do it how we're already doing it because it's worked for us for three years now any questions i'll answer to the best of my ability in the meantime keep grinding and growing that's going to wrap up this video my name is jacob with veteran pro wash and just like always y'all make sure y'all stay happy humble and money humble Peace.